हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू क्रिएटिव मेडिसिन इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल लर्न अबाउट हेलो फ्रेंड्स लेट अस नाउ लर्न सम इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स अबाउट कॉक्स टू इनहिबिटर्स कॉक्स टू इनहिबिटर्स हैव एनालजेसिक एंटी पायरेटिक and anti inflammatory effect it has anti analgesic anti pyretic and anti inflammatory effects which are similar to those with non of non NSA, non selective nsaids but and they have less gi side effects when compared to non selective um, non selective nsaids then these cox2 inhibitors have no impact on platelet aggregation they have no impact on platelet aggregation also okay and uh, platelet aggregation normally caused by uh, they have no impact on platelet aggregation which is caused by thromboxane a2 okay but these cox2 inhibitors will inhibit the cox2 mediated uh, prostacyclin synthesis it will inhibit the cox2 mediated prostacyclin synthesis in vascular endothelium because the cox2 mediated prostacyclin synthesis is eliminated so has a result these and there is no thromboxane a2 that is anti aggregatory sorry aggregatory effect is not there but this prostacyclin effect is present so, so sorry prostacyclin effect is inhibited so as a result it will have it will cause it will have increased risk of associated with increased risk of cardiovascular side effects then one more thing these cox2 inhibitors are also active in the kidneys because they are active in the kidneys they are associated with renal toxicities okay so we should reduce the dose in renal toxicity in, in when when we use it in renal failure okay thank you for watching Thank you and thank you for watching.